here tonight. You are amongst the first people, you are the first people to uh, get a taste, a preview of our brand new holiday offering. Listen, we have loved Night of the Million Lights, absolutely loved it. It was so amazing to be here, wasn't it? Those first three years and, and be a part of it and then up at Island H2O, it was incredible. Now we have so many wonderful families and Pam is gonna touch on that, but we have so many families, we need to think, we need to change things up just a little bit. And so this year it's going to be the holiday VIP tour or the holiday guided tours. You all will be the first to experience one of those tours. Now I know we all have questions about the VIP holiday tour or the holiday guided tour and Elise and Mark will answer all of those uh, questions for you on your tour. Here's something else that we're gonna tell you. You get to get crafty tonight. If you've not already done so, or if you'd like to make two, we are gonna split you up into groups, not just yet, but you'll get to make a craft in just a little bit. We'll get to meet Sprinkles the gingerbread cookie, and we'll get to make, uh, we'll get to leave our ornament as part of the display. But enough for me. I'm gonna throw it over to Miss Pam. Miss Pam, could you come? That was really exciting. I didn't know what the announcement was gonna be either. They kind of kept me in the dark, kind of. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. For those of you I don't know, my name is Pamela Langworth. I'm the president and CEO of Good Kids the World. I've been blessed to be part of this organization now for 30 years and watch it grow and um, do some amazing things because of you all. You know, we um, have now, we're approaching 190,000 families that we've served from all 50 states, down 77 countries around the world. We're gonna have our very first family from Norway very soon. And, um, and that's amazing. And we talk about that statistic of 190,000, but each one of them has a very special and unique story. And, and you all have helped us share some of their stories. You know, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is taking care of business while we take care of hearts. And taking care of hearts is something we want to do for our staff, for our volunteers, and of course our precious families. And in order to do that, we also have to take care of business. So one of the business decisions that we made a long time ago is that we want every dollar possible that we raise to go directly to the mission. And very few charities can uh, boast that you know less than 10 cents of every dollar spent goes to overhead and fundraising, and over 90 cents goes directly to the mission. And you're considered good as a charity if it's 65 cents goes to the mission and 35 cents goes. And the reason that we're able to do that is we don't do any marketing. We don't pay for advertising. You guys take care of that for us. So when we say we couldn't do what we do without you, we truly mean we couldn't do what we do without you. You help share our story so that we don't have to pay for advertising and do those things so that more and more families can be served and we can Make, fulfill that promise that we made 37 years ago that no child who's wished to come to Central Florida as their wish would go unfulfilled. That was a promise Henry made 37 years ago. And we're so blessed that we've been able to stay true to that, that promise. It was a rocky road through the pandemic as it was for all of you, but we've come back in full <laughs> strength. Part of that was because of the Night of a Million Lights, which you all embraced and helped us get the word out about that. It was enormously successful. But then we were able to start welcoming families back. This month, we're gonna serve over 900 families for the first time in our history. That's 50 families more than we've ever served in one month before. And it doesn't look like it's gonna slow down at all. And that's kind of bittersweet, you know, the knowing more and more families, but the beauty is that we're able to serve them. And so when you're here tonight, you get to go out there and see those holiday lights. Yeah, it was, it was wonderful and it was exciting to do Night of a Million Lights when we can invite people out that weren't ever able to see the village. But now it's back for our families. We wanted to have that same experience for the families. But we think we found a way that we can kind of blend both. We can light up the village in an amazing way, but then be able to share that with other folks to be able to come in and see what we do. Because what Night of a Million Lights also did for us is it brought new volunteers to us, new supporters, because there was a lot of people who'd never heard of the village before. So these holiday tours that, we're, that you're all gonna experience as VIP tours, we're hoping that new and new, new folks will come out. 
It might encourage more people to volunteer, more people to help support our mission. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. We couldn't literally do what we do without you. We appreciate everything that you do to get that message out there. And we're so excited. I can't wait to hear what you think about the light. So I'm going to turn it back over to Denny and hopefully have a great evening. All right. Our, our website for the sales of tickets for the Holiday VIP Tour, all proceeds going to benefit the village, goes live tomorrow morning. You'll find the URL on this page. It's right smack dab in the middle. It's gktw.org slash holiday VIP. All right? So tonight, enjoy. Savor. Take pictures, ask questions. This is your moment. Anyone with a white name tag on, like the one I have on, has something they're passionate about and something they want to tell you. So please, ask away. That's literally what we're here for tonight. So we are here to preview the VIP guided tours. And what's super exciting is Give Kids the World is actually offering three different ways this holiday season that you can get involved and help support the village. So we have the holiday soiree. It uh, looks like that's going to be on November 11th. The VIP tour guide, which is what you guys are seeing tonight, or the VIP guided tours, excuse me. We're not tour guides. <laughs> you get to come on a tour here. And then the balcony dessert parties. And all of uh, the information for all of these events is going to be at www.gktw.org. Prices and so much more. And it all goes to such a good cause. There are lots of ways to get involved with the village here. All different ways to raise money. And the first one here is a gingerbread run that they're actually doing on Saturday, February 10th at 10 a.m. You can run, roll, walk, or stroll and raise some dough. Go ahead and scan that QR code right there on your TV if you want to try to get involved with the gingerbread run. Then, there's Playing for Wishes, which is a golf tournament at Celebration Golf Club, Friday, May 3rd, 2024. There's a Continental Breakfast, Shotgun Start, gktw.org slash golf to learn more about that opportunity. Go over the edge for Give Kids the World. You have a chance to rappel down a 32-story hotel. How insane does that sound? Saturday, February 24th, that's the day before my birthday, so I probably won't be doing that. I want to make it to my 37th birthday. But Saturday, February 24th, 2024, at the Hyatt Regency, go ahead and uh, check out gktw.org to find out more information about that. And then Hearts of Reality. It looks like there's a meet and greet and a decades party with some reality stars. Saturday, December 9th, gktw.org slash hearts of reality and get involved with that event. So Danny and I are gonna have a little contest here. We're gonna play this winter fun snowball throwing game. And let's do three snowballs each and let's see who gets the higher score. You're up first. Oh, just a bit outside. Oh, just a bit outside. Oh, just a bit outside. <laughs> All right. trying to get some arts and crafts supplies. Now the reason that people are trying to do that is because we have been invited to make ornaments to actually hang up here and give kids the world to bring all these families some joy. And I think that's such a cool thing. Now I ran up and got a bunch of ornament or a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it's gonna go together. What do you think about the stuff that I grabbed? There's lots of really fun stuff here. We got some snowflakes and a pine cone and some peppermints. So there's, All kinds of fun stuff. There's snow that you can put at the bottom, but I was like, what if we put a bunch of Christmas lights at the bottom? Ooh, yes. And then we'll put back anything we don't use. 
tell you what guys I'm glad one of us is an artist because Danny is killing the game right now making this an ornament here I don't know about that she's but... tying up the uh, the little yeah. end here see on the one side it says a couple of park hoppers and then the other side says Phil and Danny that's us <laughs> well done this is one of the games that they have for us it's like being Katniss Everdeen but at a really fun place not a <laughs> Not like in the Hunger Games. But let's see if I have the same eye as Katniss Everdeen and Bill. What about you? Do you think you'll be any good at this? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you. Oh! Nailed it. I did it. First try. <laughs> That's it. I'm She's a natural. She won. she won the Hunger Games I'm already. Retiring. That's it. <laughs> yes. Come on, do it again, again. Almost. Ah. Uh, are you are you retiring from our? I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I, I believe in you still. So the highlight of tonight is we actually get to go on a sneak preview of the VIP guided tours here at Give Kids World Village. We're gonna join a couple of tour guides right now for a sneak peek, just a little taste, because you yourself can go on a 90 minute VIP tour right here at Give Kids the World for just $59.99 this holiday season. Details are at gktw.org. That website launches today. So we're gonna join our tour guides right now and check out this sneak peek of the VIP guided tour. Thank you guys for being out here. Um, my usual question is who's been to the village, but I think who has not been to the village before? Okay, just a handful. Perfect. Um, who has come to Night of a Million Lights in 2020, our first year? Okay, quite a few. And 2021? Yep. Awesome. And then last year, wasn't here on site, but did anybody come to H2O? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, so I just want to share a little bit about how we first started lighting the village. Um, so in 2020, um, the village was closed for 10 months and we thought, look at this place. It's beautiful. We got some Christmas lights. Let's bring people out and tell them what we're about. Um, that started a trend that we haven't stopped. Um, so of course we are full, which is where we want to be, um, but it does not allow us to bring out thousands and thousands of people. So what we're offering this year are those VIP tours. Um, because we actually received a very generous grant that allowed us to light everything that you see here at the village and more. I wish I could show you everything tonight. Um, we are still very much a work in progress, but there will be tons more lights, many more photo ops, and we'll get to show you even more things um, that are coming, some partner displays, lots of fun things. So for the VIP tours, they will be an hour and a half experience. We're offering them eight nights um, between November and December, Fridays and Saturdays. There will be 12 tours a night, and they're for groups of 25. So you don't have to bring a group of 25, but they're individually ticketed for 25 at a time, which is a little bit smaller than I think what we have here. Um, those will be $59.99, and they will also include an activity of sorts. We have a couple other offerings that we will dive into a little bit more detail as we go down the avenue. But if you've been here or if you haven't been here, we're excited to show you the lights and share a couple village stories with you as well. Alright, wow. I think I saw Stella our star fairy here on the avenue. Is that cool? Yep. So as magical as Give Kids the World Village is, I want to just share a little bit about our history. So Give Kids the World Village was founded by a gentleman named Henry Landworth. Henry was a Holocaust survivor and moved to the United States, had some jobs here and there, but one of his uh, most favorite things was in the hospitality industry. Uh, Henry was the manager of the Starlight Motel out on Cocoa Beach, became really good friends with those uh, astronauts, those first guys that were, went into space. But during the theme park boom, Henry moved here to Central Florida and he was the manager of a Holiday Inn uh, down on 192. One day, Henry got a phone call at the motel asking 
um, if he could uh, give a room to a wish family. Uh, a little girl, her wish was to come to Central Florida. And Henry said, of course, anything that they need, uh, I'm here for. So he opened up the motel for them, set the room aside, and the night that they were supposed to check in, Henry went up to the front desk to check the books and the family hadn't arrived yet. So Henry asked, what happened? Unfortunately, due to all the red tape, uh, the uh, young girl ended up passing away before her trip could be fulfilled. From that moment, Henry started Give Kids the World and said that uh, he never wanted a child to have to go through what he went through. We never turn down a child uh, that wants to come to Central Florida. Um, we have sometimes rush wishes for kids that uh, need that little extra magic. Um, I, I tell the story that Henry started Give Kids the World with one room in a little uh, broom closet. Uh, and now we are 89 acres and 166 villas. The guest book, as I like to call it here at the village, is our Castle of Miracles. Every child that comes to the village is given a little gold star and they're invited down to the castle to personalize that star. Stellar the Star Fairy keeps hold of that star uh, and it's a place in one of our galaxies. Once a family stays here at the village, we invite them back as an alumni family um, and they can go in and see their star. It's a very special and powerful moment for our families. Um, and like I said, it's like our guest book. Uh, the castle opened in 1994. We've had 190,000 families come through the village. We have about 170,000 stars that hang in the castle. We know where every star is. We have a great back uh, catalog of all of them. Um, and that truly is our history uh, here at the village. We're gonna walk down the avenue. This is the Avenue of Angels. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but we've got some exciting venues that we wanted to share with you. So let's head on down and more lights, of course. One of the other really fun offerings that we have are sponsored trees this year. Um, so at the village, we actually do not showcase branding here because we never want the families to come and see sponsored by and then feel the need to support that company. Uh, the exception is around the holidays. So year one of Night of a Million Lights, we brought out about um, 52 different partners um, and said for the first time, you can show your brand. This is a thank you to you, a fundraiser to us, and then also a way to just share the village. Um, since then, we've been able to showcase a couple partners a year, um, but also this year, we are offering the um, option to sponsor a tree here on the tree trail, um, on the avenue, and then on the tree trail that we won't get to show you tonight, um, but it's at Keaton's Corral, which is our horseback riding area. So we're creating another beautiful tree trail where you can put branded ornaments. We'll have a sign with your name on it. Um, and that's just one of the big sponsorship offerings this year. We can also create a fundraising page, um, which it, instead of just paying the sponsorship fee, you can fundraise for it, which is a big thing. Um, and then to tell you a little bit more about ice cream for breakfast, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, so um, one of the uh, tributes that we opened. Um, we opened Henry Starlight Scoops back in uh, 2021. This is a tribute to Henry and the Starlight Motel where he got his start. You know, the uh, astronauts that were the first guys to go into space, Walter Cronkite, they became lifelong friends of Henry. And when uh, Henry moved here to Central Florida and he started the village, uh, those guys went out and uh, pounded the pavement with Henry. One really cool thing about Henry Starlight Scoops is uh, it is the first venue that opens in the morning. So it opens at 7.30 in the morning. We invite our families to come down and have ice cream for breakfast. Breakfast here at the village doesn't start till 8 o'clock. So there are mornings, uh, there's a line to get ice cream. We, uh, we get guest letters when families leave, and so many of them say the highlight of their trip was the ice cream for breakfast. We are all about yes here at the village, so allowing our families and our kiddos to uh, enjoy some ice cream, something that they probably would never get to do at home, they get to do it here at the village. Just the ambiance here with all the lights is just so gorgeous. Just looking around as we head to our next spot on the tour, just so many lights, so festive. 
It really does bring up your spirits. So the venue uh, over here with the green roof, that is the Rockin' Spa and Olivia's Oasis. Earlier this spring, we opened Olivia's Oasis. We, uh, we would hear from our families that the caregivers wanted a little extra love while they were here. They wanted a little bit of alone time to just get away and relax. So uh, we worked with some great partners and inside Olivia's Oasis, uh, we have massage chairs and a cool water table, uh, things that they can put their feet in and just relax. Um, we just want them to feel cared for. You know, we put so much into the, the kids and the, uh, and the families, but sometimes, you know, going to those doctor's visits, running around, taking care of the families, they just need a little time. So that's what we did when we opened Olivia's Oasis. And then also in that building, we've got the Rock and Spa. So we invite the kids down to come get crazy hair and uh, glitter tattoos and get their nails done and pirate and princess makeovers. We get them ready um, to have fun when they go out to the parks. On this side of the avenue, um, coming in the spring of 2024, we will be opening Mayor Clayton's Wonder Lab. Mayor Clayton's Wonder Lab is going to be all about STEAM. So science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It is going to be a hands-on uh, science lab, six different rooms with uh, animatronics, and uh, robot making sewing okay. machines and, <laughs> getting, and pulling the kids away from their screens and their devices and getting them to uh, experience some hands-on technology I'm really excited they're going to be doing an animatronics um, lab it's going to be sponsored by Garner Holt mm -hmm. the folks that do a lot of the theme park um, animatronics and the kids will get to come down and make little bird animatronics I think everyone here is a staff is so excited we've started play testing some of the things so we can perfect everything for the families uh we as a staff are excited we've been working on this project for a couple of years now uh in spring we'll be opening it um I, we're yeah. excited yeah we are so excited that animatronic lab sounds super cool huh guys cannot wait till that opens in the spring So as Pam said earlier, um, Give Kids the World has kind of become the place where Central Florida looks for holiday lights every year. So if you joined us last year when we were at uh, Island H2O, uh, we had a lot of photo ops. Uh, right over here is the iconic gold sleigh from last year. We've got other photo ops that are spread out um, throughout the property here but the gold sleigh was a big highlight. We had quite a few proposals and lots of family holiday cards. Um, so we've got a lot of those giant props, the light bulbs that are back there against the House of Hearts. And even more to come. More to come, more to come yes. Um, we've got 1.6 million lights so far. The property looks beautiful. The guided tours are going to be so much fun. Uh, we're just giving you guys a small taste of some of the lights. Uh, we were out here last night putting lights up, so to see all the lights turned on uh, is really special for us as well. Uh, 1,800 volunteer shifts a week is what we fill. Um, everything from serving breakfast, uh, running the attractions, working the movie theater for us. Uh, the volunteers are truly the heart and soul of the village, uh, we couldn't do it without them. We just passed over 5 million volunteer hours, which is a really cool thing. Um, yeah, 5 million. Two other opportunities to see the lights that are not part of the VIP tours. One is our holiday soiree. It is essentially a mini gala. Um, so we hosted our gala here on site for the first time in 2021, when we were not full yet whatsoever. Um, so we are bringing out our biggest partners. Uh, we have $5,000 and $10,000 table sponsorships and individual tickets. But you'll have um, a dinner and holiday inspired entertainment experience in the Hoppin' In Place where we first were. And then they come out here for an after party. So that's one of the options. The other one is if you want to bring out your family or your team at work, we're gonna offer dessert parties on the balconies overlooking all of these lights. 
So those are all custom experiences. You would work with me and my team to figure out if what desserts you wanted. Um, and then we would also include a tour through the lights, a private tour for those experiences. Now I know some of you made ornaments. Um, we've got some trees here. So if you'd like to leave your ornament here, um, you can do so. Um, or if you want to take them home with you, I know Denny was like, some of them are going to leave their ornaments. So go ahead, you can place them on the trees here uh, for our families to enjoy. You want to put this one up, Gabby? No? I don't think so. We are heading into Amberville right now for the next leg of our sneak peek of the VIP guided tour of Give Kids the World Village. As you heard, $59.99 per person. Groups of 25 will be going on the tour. You don't have to get 25 people, but groups of 25, it could be one, it could be 25. It's completely up to you. But a great opportunity to see all the amazing lights and the campus here at Give Kids a World Village. So I just wanted to share one of my favorite holiday proposals with you. So Mark is the namesake of Mark's Dino Putt, uh, which is over in the back on the right side of Amberville. Um, Mark had three wishes when he was here on his wish trip in 2021. It was to be a dinosaur, naturally, um, to be a millionaire and to never be forgotten. Um, so when Mark had his wish here, he got very close with Pam, who you all met. Um, and then a, a few years after his wish trip, Mark did pass away. Um, but it was right when we were finishing, uh, Universal Creative was finishing Mark's dino putt over there, uh, which was dino themed, a million dollar project. And now Mark will never, ever be forgotten. So in 2020, at the end of the year, Mark's, what would have been Mark's younger brother reached out to me and said, I would love to propose to my girlfriend here. Um, so we gave them a tour through the lights. She had never been here before. They played putt-putt and on the final hole, the dinosaur went up with a sign that said, will you marry me? Uh, and then we did provide a custom dessert party for them over on the balcony overlooking the lights. So Mark is one of the many stories um, that all of our venues have a namesake that is a different wish child um, that has passed away. But Mark's story is very close to me. I've been very close to his mother ever since. And to hear the story from her was incredible. Um, that is one of millions of stories that we could share here. Uh, but we are going to head this way and check out some of the attractions and our villas. So earlier, as the tour was starting, I shared the story of Henry and the founding of the village. Uh, so since uh, the start of Give Kids the World, Henry started with one motel room. We are now an 89 acre resort with 166 villas. So behind me um, are just some of our villas. Uh, they are kind of like a duplex. So each side is the same. They sleep up to seven um, and it becomes these families home away from home for the week that they're staying with us. Um, it's an all-inclusive trip. So they don't have to worry about anything um, when they get here. Uh, I think that is probably the most special thing about Give Kids the World. Another really cool thing that we offer our families, we have four accessible attractions. Three of them are right over here. We have Lori's, Kelly's, and JJ's Express. Uh, down at the other end of the avenue, we'll see it at the end of our tour, we have the Enchanted Carousel. Think about going to the carnival or the county fair and you're in a wheelchair and you wouldn't be able to participate. Here at Give Kids the World, everyone gets to participate. Uh, so we've got these great offerings for our families. Um, it really, truly uh, is a magical place to come to work every day. Uh, we, we never say no. Um, it's all about making those uh, magical memories for our families. Uh, we have a couple of our partners coming out this year. In addition to the Tree Trail sponsorships, 
Some partners have been working with us since the beginning. Disney Universal and SeaWorld have been core founders of the village. We have the Crayola Crayons are back. They've been here since year one. Um, we also have SeaWorld has done a little display up here. And then Ripley's was installing tonight. So they've done a couple different displays where they had the world's tallest man wearing an ugly Christmas sweater and tons of other fun characters. So we're excited to bring them back. Um, they'll be installing over the next couple of weeks, but a, a little bit to see and a lot of bit more to see in the next month or so. Gotta love all the Hasbro characters out here. Especially Megatron. Roll out! Some of these lights are just so cool. They're covering the entire villas. You got red and blue, you got green and red, you got blue and white. So cool. Right next door to Starlight Scoops, we've got one of the villas here. As you can see, they're marked by a number. This is Elmer the Snoring Tree. He's always sleeping and snoring over here. Someday he'll wake up. All right, so we wanted to leave you guys with Gavin's story. Um, so Gavin had uh, his wish trip with us right before we closed in March 2020. Um, in 2020, when we were placing all of the Christmas lights, we had volunteers here every day, all day, helping us. We didn't know what we were doing, installing everything. Um, well, we found out that Gavin is what we call an alumni family, meaning his wish was fulfilled here in the past. Um, and once we found that out, we were like, oh my goodness, Gavin, we gotta give you a villa. So there was one villa that we were not lighting that year and it was tucked away in the corner and it just so happened to be the very first villa we've ever had here at Give Kids the World. So we said, Gavin, this is yours. What do you want to do? Well, Gavin's wish trip um, was to see the new Galaxy's Edge. He won, he's a big Star Wars fan. So he said, uh, I want to turn it into, please forgive me, uh, the planet Hoth for yeah, Star Wars fans. Yeah, okay, yeah. so it was a frozen planet to my understanding and it was beautiful and it was blue and sparkly and white. It was gorgeous. So every year now that villa is Gavin's villa. Um, and in 2021, we, that was the very last villa we lit. Our big partner, iTech, who does a, a great deal for the village, they decorated the villa, but they put a little nod to him and put little pieces of the spaceships right in the window. So it will forever be Gavin's villa in our mind. But Gavin um, actually suffered from a very rare condition that caused him to have seizures constantly that would last a ridiculously long time, multiple seizures a day. Um, and since his wish trip with us, he has not had one and that was in March 2020 so that is one of many stories um, very similar uh, and just a testament to the hope that we provide here and you know the silly things like these Christmas lights and starting to put them up in August it means so much to our families you guys supporting these things that we do means so much to our families and this is just a tiny piece so again the full tour is gonna be an hour and a half you're gonna see a lot more there will be more partners more photo ops uh, but thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you come back yeah. and we see you for the holidays. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We just finished our night here at Give Kids the World and let me tell you, I am so excited about this offering that's happening this year. Oh my gosh, we got that sneak preview as you guys just saw of the VIP guided tours. That was just a little bit of a taste. It's going to be a 90 minute tour and this place has to be seen to be believed. It is so cool. It's so magical with everything all lit up and just all the stories and things that have happened here over the years. It's just such a warm place during the holidays that you guys need to come out here and check it out. And one thing I want to mention is unless you unfortunately have a child who is ill, you are not able to come in to give kids the world. It's actually closed off to the public. Correct. So it's a very special thing for you to be able to not one, uh, support, and also two, just to be able to come in here at all and also support those people who are going through a really tough time and you know their kids who are the heroes and are fighting the the fight for their lives and so 
what better way to spend your money than to support Give Kids the World and get to check out this amazing place? In addition to the events like we're talking about tonight for the holidays, there's also plenty of volunteer opportunities as well for you to get here to the village. They're always looking. They think they said they filled like 1,500 volunteer positions a day, which means they need all of you. You. If you're watching. Right, right there, you. And you've been thinking volunteer. about it. This is your, this is your sign, right? This is your sign. And we come out here and help anytime we can. And we, we just love this place so much. And we know that if you come out here and get to support Give Kids the World and see it with your own eyes, you're gonna fall in love with it so much. And you're gonna do everything you can to support these families, these kids, and this amazing organization. So with that said, visit gktw.org slash holiday VIP. That's gktw.org, you'll see it right there gktw.org slash holiday VIP. Get your tickets now. Get one of those eight event nights. You've got to come down here and check this place out. All right. I think it's time for us to head out. So until next time. We'll see you around the parks.